Welcome back to the new video. In this video, we are going for the fourth and the final case where we have R is equal to what? K into not K, it is e power ax into v. So v is nothing but a function of any function, can be any function of x. Okay, so we'll discuss what our functions we have. You can see over here e power ax into function of x. Now LHS will go for the LHS first. So we have to solve by the same method. So y double dash will be d square into y, then uh, y dash will be d into y, then 13y, so y we are taking outside, then you have to write the auxiliary equation, replace d with m, now we can just uh, find out the m roots by the calculator or you can just go for the splitting the middle term and you will get a complex number we can see over here. So complementary function is equal to e power ax into c1 cos. Uh, alpha x plus whatever you can know we have discussed the homogeneous uh, solutions it's the same thing so c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x okay now but the thing is that where is the 3 gone 3 is basically over here okay i just forgot to write that so it's fine so let us see further so what will be this one so it is yp how to find yp for this case this is nothing but the product of two cases you can see here sin x is there and e power ax is there for this case always remember yp will be e power ax into function of d c function of d you have to replace with d plus c always remember into v f of d we have to replace with d plus a what is a over here here we have a no so you can see over here e power ax 2 so you have to replace d with d plus 2 okay now so we have 1 by f of t into e power ax into sin x that means 1 by function of d into the rhs part now we have to write in which this step e power ax into 1 by f of d plus a i have to replace d with d plus 2 so you can see over here d plus 2 replace d with d plus 2 here also d with d plus 2 plus 13 you have to write into v see here v e power ax into 1 by f of f of d plus a plus v now after writing this just simplify this part you will get you have to just cancel it out whatever is getting cancelled so finally you get d square plus 9 okay this is the final thing now what is the step next next step is that I hope you remember always see the v function okay v function so v function we have discussed e k into cos ax correct and k into sin ax it's the same case so here we have k into ax now a in that case how we solved we have to replace d square with what minus of a square so what is a over here a is nothing but 1 sin x so it is 1 so I have to replace with minus of 1 square that is minus 1. So I have to replace d square with what? Minus 1. That's what I have done over here. d square with minus 1. Whatever v function is that you have to follow that case. That steps you have to follow. Okay. Here e power ax it's just you have to keep it as it is. Then e power 2x by minus 1 plus 9 so you will get 8 so e power 2x into sin x by 8 this will be the final answer that is yp now we have to just add y is equal to yc plus yp that means yc is over here see you can see over here plus yp in order to get the final answer i'll just repeat this step so basically what you need to do first step is that whenever you write yp you have to write it in 1 by f of d into e power ax into v okay this is the first step now after writing in this step you have to go for the this step f of d you have to replace with f of d plus a what is a over here e power ax is there no that a you have to take then write it in that form then you have to simplify then you have to get the whatever you are getting simplified for then you have to see for the v what is v v is sin x then you have to go for if it is polynomial then you have to go for the division method suppose it is x square v then you have to go for the division you have to both divide we have discussed polynomial case so you have to go certain cases different cases you have to apply in order to get the final solution